Okay then, so here we are, and uh, let's let's give this a bit of a test. Then I have my Pokeball Plus here, um, so you can just see me in the corner. You're not really going to need to look at me for much of this, but the flashy blinking lights and, as AV would say, on the Pokeball will be important in a moment. So first of all, let's load up the Pokemon Go app and give give this a shot. Now my bet is this is going to work straight off the bat now, after I think I lost count when I hit 10, but I think I've tried it about 18 times this morning, and you can see by the time it's only 20 past 9. Um, also note my battery percentage, so 94% you can see up there in the corner. Now this is going to be slightly skewed because I'm doing a screen grab at the same time, and the front camera is obviously running, um, but I reckon you know, if, if this takes 15 minutes, I reckon that'll be down to about 50-50% in that time. Oh Jesus, that was loud. Okay, let's turn that down a bit. So, the Pokeball has been connected before. So what we do is we tap the ball just under the compass in the top right, and then we press a button on the Pokeball. It says registering, connecting, so it's found it. And we get blinking lights in. Blinking lights in has stopped on the Pokeball now, which could mean it's connected, or it could mean it's failed. Now I'm not going to press anything else. I've only pressed the button, the the B button, which is the top button, not the front uh, little joystick button. I've only pressed that once. Now, there's various forums out there saying you need to double tap that, but we'll give that a go in a minute. Um, and I've had some success doing that and some not, so it seems just very hit and miss. Um, it would make sense to me that you press it to put it into discovery mode and then you press it again to accept a pair request on Bluetooth. Whether it's actually doing that or what, I have no idea. Um, failed to connect to device, there we go. Okay, so let's try again. Press the button on the top. Um, it's gone out straight away there. I only pressed it once. Now that tells me it's connected this time round. Now why is my face vanished off into the corner? Uh oh, uh oh, screen capture's gone sparse. Oh, the whole thing's gone to shit. Well, I don't know if you can still hear me, but it's uh, still spinny circle. I've not pressed any of the buttons. Come on. I was trying to stand in front of one of the kitchen cabinets to give you a white background. Oh, there we go. Suddenly sprung into life. Oh, and then sprung straight back out of life again. Hello, Pippa. Meow. Right, there we go. So, it's not done anything. So, let's try it again. This time, double press. One, two. Sort of went solid for a bit then, and then, oh, it's gone off now. Now, the thing in the corner has just completely given up. Oh, no, it says registering. Unable to connect. Would you like to view some troubleshooting tips? No, already done that, and there are a load of BS. So, let's try again. One, two. I already pretty much know what's going to happen, um, but I'm just going through the motions because it's not 100% repeatable. Every now and then it will just randomly work, and you, you have no idea why. So let's try it again. I don't know whether I've had more set of success with single tap or first tap, first time, first, third time, second time, flipping tenth time. Um, it's just hit and miss. Um, but what I have noticed is the first time you open the app like that, oops, sorry, um, it's it very rarely works for an already connected Pokeball. 
So what we tend to do, or say what I've been doing, is going into here, Pokeball Plus, uh, let me just move my head out of the way, there it is at the bottom, unregister it by clicking the little eject button. Now we press a button on here, and sometimes it comes back up, sometimes we have to restart the app, sometimes we have to restart the app and restart Bluetooth. So this is looking like a, uh, a restart the app job. So, in fact, tell you what, let's do it properly. Let's actually close the app rather than force quit it. So we're doing it by the way it wants to do things. However, I can guarantee it's not going to make a job difference. Not in this case, anyway. So... Now, if you go back into the app very soon after you quit it, I find you get tremendous server lag. Uh, and I'll be surprised if it actually logs us in first time. Or I have to force quit a couple of times and it'll work, you know, a few times later. <clears throat> Come on. Now the progress bar is actually moving. Sometimes it doesn't move at all and just hangs at forever. Uh, sometimes it hangs at about 50%. I've never seen it go slow like that. Oh, and as soon as you get the sign out thing, that's normally terminal. For an app that should just flip in work straight out of the box from a big developer, you know, it's utter garbage. 10% of the battery's gone already. This phone normally lasts me anywhere between, I would say, 18 hours with moderately heavy use to over 24 with light use. Easily over 24 because I've been around to mate's house and stayed over and not charged before. Stuck in battery saving mode like quite early, but it still works. Yeah, see, so this is just hanging forever now. So, I'm going to rage quit that. Try again. And this is what you end up doing every single time you want to go on the app is you end up opening, closing, opening, closing the app over and over again. And when you finally get in, then the Pokeball doesn't bloody work, so you then have to flip in, undock it, then open and close the app, open and close the app, get it working again, re-register it, and then it does a GPS connection failure. So you've got to close the app, open it, close it again, and then the Pokeball's disconnected itself, so you then have to open it and close it. And before you know it, you've, you've used up the entirety of your battery and you've still not actually achieved anything. You, you're no further than you were you know, 45 minutes ago, except for an extremely hot battery, a completely brutalised um, lithium ion chemistry in the battery. So, I mean, if, if you're doing this <laughs> on any sort of basis more than zero, um, each time it is knackering your battery permanently. Permanently. That's You've got to remember that. Um, each cycle on the battery does irreparable damage to it and normally that's only a very small amount so you know a battery can be good for years um, as you know but like yesterday I think I had to charge my phone up well I kept going out to try and get this working and just all day it took me and now's a good time of year to do it um, I must have had it on charge once an hour, um, pretty much full cycling the battery. The, the, the thing was red hot. Now if I pull down my notification bar, you can see at the top here, um, I've got a little system usage uh, app. I forget what it's called actually. But using 70% of the RAM, that's fairly standard. 70% of the CPU, that's not actually surprising uh, I think a lot of the time I look at that it's somewhere between the 60 and 80 mark um, batteries steadily going down temperatures 44 degrees um, it's in a case but it's only a very very thin case 
So let me just step back under the light. Still isn't signing me in, so rage quit again. Open the app again. I'm gonna need a cup of tea at this rate. Stick with water for the moment. But I mean, it's just absolutely bonkers. I, I used Pokemon Go when it first came out. Oh, is it gone again? Ah, I'm back. Um, I don't know whether, when it hangs, whether or not you can still hear me talking. I'm not going to know that until I watch this back. Um, and when it first came out, these server issues were just nuts. I must say, since I re got this about a week and a half ago, um, server issues have actually been not too bad. Um, I must say, I've never failed more than three times in a row to get into the app. So, so this is this is new on me even. Um, but server issues are what plagued it back in the day. Ah, oh, we're in finally. Holy crap! Come on, load the data. Come on. You can do it. There we go. Right, and we're in like Flynn. So let's go to settings. Let's go down to Pokeball Plus. Let's press the button. Hey, and it popped up. Thank God we don't have to restart Bluetooth and then come out of the app again. So we just tap on that. Um, basically, we get the spinny ball, but it's on this screen but it's, it's the same thing. Or well, from what I can tell, it's the same thing anyway. I'm being conscious not to hold this too close to the phone because some, some Bluetooth de devices, if they're right on top of the transmit receive antenna, um, bearing in mind it's used for Wi-Fi as well, um, the devices, I mean, uh, it, it can sometimes not like it. Oh, dear me. So we got the spinning ball of death. So if we come out of that, we can see the spinning ball of death in the top corner. 50 quid this was. Or, yeah, 49.99. 50 quid. This is straight out of the bloody box. Not working. Failed to connect. Okay, that's normal on first attempt, believe it or not. So let's press that again. Once on the top. This time we get absolutely nada, except my phone's hanging again. I don't know why it keeps hanging, because I'm only 60% CPU. I wonder what it is. Failed to connect to device, what a surprise. Try again, this time let's try a double tap. Ah, no, right, okay. Oh no, my camera's hanging. Just going to wait for that to come back. I'll jump cut here if needs be because the front camera seems to be hanging. Come on, catch up. Catch up, please. There we go. Right, so uh, it's just popped up saying failed to register, so this might light up again now. Yeah. So it was saying fail to register, but if I press the button on the top, the light didn't come on, which actually means it's successfully paired. But then the app thinks it hasn't. Uh, but I know from experience, if I then go into Bluetooth on, on the device um, and look at paired devices, that this would actually be connected to the phone, even though the Pokemon Go app says no bueno. Finding Pokeball Plus, let's try a double tap. Ah, oh, right, okay, yeah, so now I'm pressing the button, no blinking lights in. Yeah, so it's, it is connected. Right, so let's just have a look at that. Oh no, it's just booted it off, the app's just... So the app seems to have privileges to mess about with your Bluetooth. Now, I don't know why or how it's doing that, because if I go to apps here, and Pokemon Go, permissions, Camera contacts, location and storage, it doesn't have permissions to mess about with the Bluetooth, so I don't know how it's doing this. But anyway, that's, that's a rant for another day. 
uh, and my lack of understanding of Android, I suppose. So let's try again. Press on the top, and there we get the GPS signal not found. I normally get that once it's connected. So the GPS signal not found error is quite funny, and we'll have a look at that in a minute. So let's try again. No, it's having none of it. Right, next thing I'm going to try is there's a hidden button on the back of here on the rim. Um, it's a reset button. I'm going to have to put the phone down to do this. In fact, if I do it upwards, sorry about the glare from the light. But if I... Oh, I need something smaller than that. If I use a pen to poke -a that in, and then you feel a little vibrate, that is the... Um, apparently, it's... The, the reset button because there's like no one off switch on this so now we try again this may or may not work we may now have to re unload it and load it back in from the settings menu and it's, oh, it's hanging again come on Registering, connecting, failed to connect. Would you like to view some troubleshooting tips? No, because they're all garbage. They just tell you to do exactly what I'm currently doing. Uh, it doesn't seem to make a difference whether you press the top button or the joystick button either. Uh, the camera's given up. Yeah, and I'll just pause until that catches up. Right, we're back in. Okay, it's given up, so let's try the joystick button this time. Seems to do the same thing, we still get blinking lights and oh, bloody heck, nearly fell off the uh, counter here. Now the Pokeball's not spinning at all, but I think it is actually doing something. Oh, no, well, let's try again then. Finding Pokeball, come on. See, it, see what I mean? 20% of the battery gone already. It's a fifth of my phone in, what's that been, 10 minutes? NFG. Failed to connect to the device. Okay, so it's just not going to work, is it? Um, <laughs> there you go. Uh, the next thing I can try though is um, let's come out of the Pokemon Go app. So I'm going to close it properly and then I'm going to rage quit it as well. Let's go into, sorry, this must be bad if you're watching on the telly, into Bluetooth, uh, Bluetooth connections, Bluetooth, this is just ridiculous, off. Because what I've noticed, and this is an Android thing, not a Pokemon thing, is. is <laughs> that button there just seems to do bugger all. Whereas this one actually turns it off and on again. Oh, oh it's the cat coming in through the cat flap. Right, so we cycled the Bluetooth. Now, this quite often works now, but that's me cursing it and trying to actually record, and it just won't, will it? It was either going to work first time, in which case you'd all be like, what's he moaning about? It works fine. Or it's just not going to work at all. So here we go, failed to log in. So just a bit of a jump cut there to uh, <laughs> keep my email address semi private. Even though my work one's public domain. What do you want, Pepper? Oh, what do you think? Right, so. Rage quit again, try it again. Oh my days. If you're frustrated watching this video, sorry, another jump cut there because my email address pops up. Yeah, if you're frustrated watching this video, imagine what it's like for me having done this every day over Christmas and having spent 50 quid on this bloody thing. Absolutely infuriating infuriating and a lot of me bets that there's a firmware update for this somewhere 
that fixes all these problems. Can you do a firmware update on the Pokeball Plus from your phone? No, can you act? You need a Nintendo Switch to do it. Do I have a Nintendo Switch? No, do I chuff? I've got a Nintendo Wii. But I haven't got a Switch. Comes with a free Mew as well. The, the Pokemon Mew inside it. Great selling point. You know, it's the only way of getting Mew. Oh, but you can only redeem it if you've got a Switch. I only found that out after buying the thing. You can get the Mew, in, then you can transfer it from the Switch to Pokemon Go, but you have to have a Switch to redeem it, which was not made clear anywhere on any of the sales pitch. So again, absolutely infuriated, and I don't know anyone who's got one. Not that lives within 50 miles of me anyway. So I'm trying to keep talking here so you know that I'm not like slowing the video down or anything like that to make it look worse than it. Oh well I suppose you've got the clock in the top corner actually thinking about it. So you can see how long we've been at this. And you can see my battery just going down and down and down. Oh, seriously just ripping work. This is actually... No, I, would, I was going to say this is worse than it normally is, but it, it isn't actually. Because I would say three times out of four I end up just giving up and not, not playing. Oh, come on. Really? 74%. While it's doing that then, let's let's just rule something else out. So it could say my internet's garbage, which is why it's going so slow pulling the data off the server. So let's go to speed test. It's just the standard Ookla speed test. Um, you can just see I'm on Virgin Media there. And yes, I'm on 100 megabit. And this should get pretty darn close to it. Bearing in mind I'm on 5... Um, five gigahertz here so you wouldn't actually expect a hundred megabits but on a phone but there we go and that's with the screen grab running and all the rest of it I mean it's what six meg up 96 meg down so it ain't my it's not my internet that's slow holy oh crap no that is El Rapido failed to log in what a surprise So yeah, sorry, another little jump cut there because it springs up with your email address. Because I've got two email addresses associated with this phone. Only one of them have got a Pokemon Go account. But I think it does it based on because I signed in on Go with Google. It's probably a token authentication rather than passing your email address. Um, which is absolutely sensible in the way you would hope it works. Hello Pepper, do you want to be on the video? You're the closest to a Pokemon we're going to see, aren't you? You Meowth. <laughs> you Meowth Pepper. The noise she makes, she's more like Mew, aren't you? But you don't look like Mew, are you going to come on the video, Pip? Say hello. Hello. Yeah, I know you don't like being picked up. Never have, have you? Fine, what a surprise, failed to log in. Rage quit. Try again. You know it's not a problem with my thing because it, we've already logged in on this video. How long have we been, been recording for? Sorry, I just put my thumb right over the camera. 24 minutes. Sorry, another jump cut because it was pinging up again with my email address. Oh, this is hurting. What I might do... 
is I might actually fast forward this and do a time lapse. You've got the time in the top left corner of the screen. Hey, flipping Luya! Jeez, Louise. Right, okay. <laughs> so, after turning Bluetooth off and on again and casually restarting the app, let's try and press the Pokeball button. Find the Pokeball, click the button. Okay, click. Mm, nothing. Was I too slow? No, if I press it again, nothing happens. Press the screen, I mean, not the Pokeball. I'm getting no dialogue, no pop ups. I'm not touching anything here. No, oh, hands free. Is it? So let's try pressing it on the screen again. Oops, missed. Find a Pokeball, click the button. Okay, button clicked. No pop-ups on the app. The blinking light seems to be just going weird and doing its own thing. Nothing on the screen. Oh, now it just randomly says connecting. Failed to connect to device. All right, let's try again. Failed to connect to the device, even though it's still blinking because it's in pairing mode or whatever that means. But if it said failed to connect, why am I getting the spinny circly thing? I'm just being careful not to press anything inadvertently. It's a miracle I even got to level 21 on this. They should count the number of hours you failed to use the game. Oh, Jesus. Oh, right, so I just pressed it again and it said click the button on the Pokeball. So I think the spinning circle was a lie. An animation that just didn't seem to correspond to anything that's running in the um, back end. So I just press the button on the Pokeball again. So it's connecting, unable to connect, what a surprise. So let's try kicking it off and then coming back in. Oh, look how laggy that is. This menu is very laggy most of the time. So let's boot that off. Oh, my camera's, I'm just going to wait for the camera to catch up so you can see what I'm doing with the actual ball. Come on, phone. There we go. So press the top button. Oh, please work. Please pop up. It's not going to, is it? It's so not going to. again. Try spamming the button. Try spamming the front button. If you press the both of them together, you might be able to hear this if I rest the ball on the phone. You get a buzz. Yeah, there's the battery warning <laughs> from Android Adaptive Battery. <laughs> Your battery will last. <laughs> What's that? Two and three quarter hours based upon your usage. I'm not quite sure how they calculate that, but if I've used 
a third of my battery in the last 45 minutes. That tells me it's going to last an hour and a half longer. No? Maths? No, it's not doing it. So you know what we got to do? Exit Pokemon Go. Reload Pokemon Go. And I can guarantee we won't get in first time. But, oops, sorry. I uh, live to be surprised and amazed. But I don't hold my breath. Cue the music. Whoops, that went everywhere, particularly all over my electronic key for the car. Right. Failed to log in, what a surprise. Right, I'm just out of experience here. I'm going to rage quit and start again. I tend to have more luck with that than hitting retry. And here we go for the madness. One more time. Christmas miracle, we're in like sin. <sighs> oh, I've not even touched the Pokeball yet. You gotta be joking. Right, well at least I can show you this bug. Another one, what a surprise. GPS signal not found. All right, shall we take that at face value? So the phone is not reporting any GPS, even though the Pixel uses assisted GPS and I'm currently connected to my own flipping Wi-Fi. So it's got location. And let's prove that by going to Google Maps. Which doesn't take 20 million years to load and let's go zoom in on where I am oh look it knows exactly where I am I'm in my house funnily enough because I'm connected to my wi-fi and I have gps let's go in the garden there we are clear view of the sky and actually, if we zoom in here, if I walk a little bit further out the back of the house now, I bet, I bet this picks up the fact that I'm now further away from the back of the house, so somewhere near the centre of the screen. And actually, at some point, my Wi-Fi is probably going to drop out because I've got it tune down a little bit so that it doesn't uh, nuke everyone else in the neighbourhood. Actually that surprises me, I thought it was going to pick that up. Well whatever, I've got location anyway. So let's go back to, back to this. GPS signal not found. That is the sky. <laughs> Close as we're going to get to clear sky. Certainly for this time of year in England. Certainly have GPS. In fact, I wonder if I've got an app that tells me how many satellites I've connected to. 
Oh, interestingly, Google Maps has dropped out there. Oh, there we go. No, it's pinged back in, and it knows. Look, it knows I'm out the back of the house. Look, there's my house is all the way over there now. Say all the way, 50 yards. So Google Maps has picked up exactly where we are and that we've moved. GPS signal not found. Why? Why is it not found? The phone has location. I've proved that in Google Maps. The phone knows where it is. You get your information from the phone. Why it can only be a bug with the Pokemon app. Can't be a bug with Android because it's working fine in other in other things. In fact let's let's try another app actually while we're at it. Have I still got Waze? Yes I have. So it's just another like navigation y type app. I don't know if this even still works. I've not used Waze in years. Initializing. Updating the map. Okay. Yeah, you do that. Oh, we've picked up the Wi-Fi again. I under oh go away, privacy policy. No one reads this shit. Why? Why so much litigation? That's oh, that's another run. When you know that no one reads it. Oh, okay, I'm going to end up rage quitting this app as well. This may have been a bad example. I'm trying to scroll, but it's it's not doing it. So okay, let's chin that idea off. What else have I got that gives me location? My player compass. Okay. <laughs> What's that? Oh, there we go. Oh, hmm. all of a sudden it works. Get even more out of. Use your location. No, go away. Uh, yeah, personalised ads are fine. I don't care. I'm going to see it. I'd rather see something relevant. Right, so Waze knows exactly where I am. That's that's my house, next to Trackside Close. If I go to Google, Google Maps, we can see there's Trackside Close. So that's two apps now that know where I am. Pokemon Go? No. No, you haven't got a GPS signal. Yes, I got you. Blast and damn it! Rage quit. Try again. So, <laughs> this has been a little bit out of order to what it normally does. Normally, you go through all this hoo ha for about an hour, you finally get the Pokeball Plus connected, and you see that green dot that says, Yes, you have connected your Pokeball Plus, and then it goes GPS error. Always, well, that's. I've had it a few times when that's not been the case, um, but certainly in the last three days, every time the Pokeball Plus is finally connected, it's then immediately thrown the GPS error. Uh, almost like the two are coupled, weirdly. I don't know why, I don't think. I assume it's Bluetooth low energy. 4 or 4.1 or something, I don't know. Um, I'm pretty sure that's not a harmonic of GPS. What's GPS? 898 megahertz or something like that? And Bluetooth 2.4 gig? 8, 16, 24, 9, 16, 24. It's close, but it's. I don't think it's a full harmonic. It's probably a bit low. But anyway, whatever, I'm not um, I'm not that clued up on that sort of thing, to be honest with you. So we're back in anyway. See if we can get the Pokeball to work. See if we can just get anything to friggin' work. See, now it thinks we have got GPS signal. I've not done anything else. You've seen that. Right, so press the button.
Bluetooth is on, but let's not take the notification bar's word for it because, uh, oops, uh, because sometimes it lies. But it is on. But let's do an off then on again, just to, you know, really push it. Go back to Poker. Come on, go. Still nothing. Absolutely nothing. So we will exit Pokemon Go and try again. Cue the music. Holy crap, we're in. First time round. Look at that. So, Pokeball Plus, press the button. Oh, right, so it's at this point it's going to be a full phone reboot now. Um, but no, that wouldn't change anything, would it? Because we've cycled Bluetooth. The only thing I can think of that we haven't done is clearing the cache for Pokemon Go. So let's try that. So apps and notifications, Pokemon... Oh, Jesus, causing carnage here. Uh, we are going to force stop. It may misbehave. <laughs> oh, oh, just, yeah. 11% use since first charge, since last full charge. Are you having a flipping laugh? I started with 94%, I'm now at 36. That's right, okay, whatever. Uh, and that doesn't surprise me. I don't think this screen recording app's taking a huge chunk. Um, storage. There we go. Clear cache. Clear. Thank you. Clear storage. Uh, actually, do I want to do that? No, I don't want to do that because that'll wipe my account. <laughs> Nearly. Easy, Simon. Don't do anything stupid. In fact, no, it won't do because I've only just reinstalled this app the other day. Right, I don't. I think it would be if you deleted your account rather than just cleared the local storage. Oh, so I might have been safe doing that. But realistically, anything in the local storage should be. Well, I don't know. You can't make assumptions when things are misbehaving. <laughs> but I'd only expect with, you know, the programming I do, which in fairness isn't OS stuff, but. Um, I, I would expect it to be cash that, that goes a little bit haywire. Not the uh, storage. Anyway, let's cue the music and dance. Oh, we're in, we're in like sin. Cat, there's your cable tie. Go on, off you go. Right. And click. Okay. Bluetooth off then on again. Ah, oh, you might not be able to see that. 
All right, I'll have to look when I um when I review this video. I don't know whether you can see the notification bar when I pull it down. Which also means that you probably can't see my CPU usage. Um, what I'll do, just on the off chance you can't. Oh, and I'll take a screenshot. There we go. And I will put that up on the screen. No. Right, let's try the magic button again. There's the vibrate to confirm that it's reset. No, it's having none of it. It's absolutely having none of it. Let's see if this is actually um, reporting though. So if we go to pair a new device and I press the button. I don't know what SP109 is. But it always seems to show up when I'm doing this. There we go, Pokemon PBP. Pokeball Plus. So it's there. Android can see it. Can Pokemon Go see it? No, can it can it help? Um I've already tried this before, pairing it through here. Um, this is where you do press the button twice and it pairs. If it's going to work, it might not work with the Pokemon Go app open. That's unusual. Whenever I've tried this before, it's worked normally first time. Oh yeah, there we go. Right. See, Android can connect to it. It's there. Currently connected. Pokemon, Pokeball Plus. There's the device's MAC address. There's Bluetooth address. Whatever MAC it probably is. <laughs> there's the, see, there's the GPS signal not found that comes up whenever this finally does connect to Pokemon Go. So the two are coupled. Oh, it's now gone. That GPS error is... But then I'm missing half of the information at the bottom of the screen, so where's my buddy gone? Come on, where's my Metapod? <laughs> Flipping Metapod. <laughs> ah, I, I need one Caterpie candy to evolve it into a Butterfree. That's all I care about, just to tick it off on the Pokedex. Right, so it's sort of half working there. I wouldn't say it's fully working. Pokeball Plus. Oh, and this won't work because it's already currently connected. Uh, so let's reboot. So magic button. And then click a row. Hey, there we go. That's, that's sprung it into life. Oops, a daisy, sorry, forget <laughs> picking up your phone like that. It's a bit weird when you've got the front facing camera going. So we get the winny, spinny wheel of death. This isn't flashing or anything now, I think it timed out. So, let's tell you what, let's try pressing the button again. Oh no, it hasn't timed out, it has actually connected. Because it's it's vibrating. I don't know how I can demonstrate this. If I put that near the microphone, you might hear it. When I'm pressing the button, um, it's vibrating, which it only does when it's actually connected, and when it has worked properly in the past. Uh, I say in the past, in the week, <laughs> which is the past. Um, that's exactly how it behaves. The this, how, how this is behaving now is exactly as it behaves when it's connected properly and you get the little green light in the middle of the Pokeball uh, on the screen. So that's given up, so let's try again. 
No, because this still thinks it is actually connected. Right. I give up. 50 quid. 50. Back to the bench. Oh, hang on. Heart note failed. Yeah, back to the bench. Okay, so bonus bits at the end of the video. Um, I've just been uh, going through the video and uh, editing it as you've uh, as you'll have just watched by now. A couple of things sort of dawned on me that I thought, oh, maybe I could have done this that would have uh, sort of added a bit more confidence in into my sort of diagnosis and hypothesis and whatever. Um, one of which was I I didn't really show you my Bluetooth on my phone working. Um, so let's do that um, and of course we'll give it one more go after doing that just to prove that I've not done something in the meantime and it might also um, reduce the likelihood of it being a server issue this morning or, or whatever um, that's caused some of these issues so right we've still got the Pokeball Plus that's not gone back into the Amazon locker yet I've just dug out one of my old Bluetooth speakers um, I've not actually tested this yet, so it might not even have any battery on it. Oh no, it does. Oh no, it does. Hey, we've got some battery. So let's put this in a position where you can see it. Oh, it's gone blip. What's it just connect? Oh, but it's just connected to my tablet upstairs. Oh no! Ha! <laughs> no, it's connected. <laughs> Look at that. Just connected first time straight to this. Uh, what should we do? Um, play music. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's coming straight out of there. So I'm going to pause that, otherwise, all sorts of issues with copyright. Um, yeah. So pff, literally just turn it on, bang, work straight away. So let's turn that off, I suppose. Um, let's go back to Pokemon Go. So we know the Bluetooth's working. It's, it's just done that. It's literally just done that. And you watch. You watch this work now, which will just negate the best part of five hours video editing. Pippa, seriously, cat. That's it. If, if it even logs me in. Oh gosh, yeah, that was quite quick this time. God, that's what it was like this morning. Whoa, that's loud. Hang on, stand by. Right, there we go. So press the button, press the button. We've got no spinny ball of death in the corner. Just nothing. Crap, seriously. Oh, and then suddenly all the messages come through as if they've been put in a, a queue or something. Uh, so let's try booting it off. Pull it, because see that, compared to earlier, and I had to turn it off then on again and all that sort of nonsense. This is how unrepeatable these tests are. It just, it just sometimes it does one thing, sometimes it does another. I've only pressed the button once and so on, and it just drives you up the wall. Oh, and I, I know what the other thing was I was going to do. Oh, sorry, steady on. Um, and it was, well, first of all, plug my phone in. Uh, I'm going to charge this right the way up to 100%, um, and then I will run, can't communicate with Pokeball Plus, uh, and then I will run my screen capture program with Pokemon Go off, 
um, and I'll disable all the background services and stuff for Pokemon Go. Leave everything else that I have running running, um, and then just run the screen capture for an hour um, and see what the battery life uh, is like on that. <coughs> and I'll make sure the screen's not timing out and things like that. I'll, I'll try and make it as fair as as possible. Um, so this still isn't playing. Playing ball. <laughs> Come on. Do so. Why is this stop flashing? No. Oh, it's now started flashing again. Oh no. Yeah. No. Maybe. Two flashes and then it gave up. Oh, a random flash now. See what the. Now, if you go into your Bluetooth settings while it's doing this, which I've done before, it's like it pairs and pairs pairs and pairs pairs and unpairs but at like 20 30 hertz it's doing that and it's flashing on and off in on on like um in your in your bluetooth settings so if i go to your paired devices come on don't know if I make your phone lag where it pops up at the bottom here Oh, sorry at the top it's just above here isn't it um it's pokemon pokeball plus but it then vanishes and then comes back but it's doing it at like the refresh rate of the screen looks hilarious don't know what it's doing do you want to view some troubleshooting tips just the tip and only for a minute <laughs> i'm just absolutely brutalizing all my favorite youtubers here and robbing all the sayings So, no spinny ball of death in corner. Bluetooth is off. Is it really? So that says it's on. We know not to believe that. That's an Android bug. So let's go into here. Bluetooth. Bluetooth. It is off. Why is it off? It was on. You didn't see me turn it off. We've just been playing through a Bluetooth speaker. See so you know what I mean? The, the only app that I've just had running that could have turned that off is the Pokemon Go app. But it doesn't have the permission to do that. So I don't understand how it... I, I'm just absolutely perplexed by the whole thing. Finding Pokeball Plus. Come on. <laughs> ah! GPS signal not found. Go on then. Go on Google Maps. Do your worst. Come on. Blimey. Yeah, there we are. Blue dot. It knows where we are. And you saw that just load from scratch as well. Fail to connect to the device. So I give up. And I completely give up. Today I've tried, and I've been trying it as well while I've been doing the video editing. Um, you've seen, you, you can see the time on the, on the phone. Um, I've been at this for a bloody long time. And I've just not got it to work once. All day. It's infuriating how bad, how absolutely, utterly terrible this thing is in software and in hardware. And I don't see why it should be. It's a simple device. It's an accelerometer, gyro and a motor and a couple of LEDs. It, it's, you know, the hardware is pathetic. And let's just sort of prove a point. Let's turn this back on. Um, was that? Yeah. There's the bleep, it's connected. So. Yeah, and that's coming out of the speaker. I don't, I'm not sure I can, how I can prove that to you, but um, yeah, absolutely infuriating. Thank you very much for watching. I hope 
you find it informative um, and educational maybe I don't know discuss it down in the comments maybe you know something that I don't about Karen's about to get this thing to work if I've not put it in the post for the return by the time I see your comment uh, then I, I will certainly give it a go and I will put follow-up videos if, if that you know if it gets that far I'm not expecting it to to be perfectly honest with you um, but I've been the Green Giant Happy New Year Ah, oh, it's typical. I've literally just hit render on the on the video, and guess what's just happened? Green light. <laughs> it's, it bloody works. It's just worked, and it's only taken what five and a quarter. Started at nine o'clock, five, six, and eight, eight and a quarter hours to get it to work. More than the average working day. <laughs> ah, but yeah, that's. I did, literally. I don't believe that. Um, but that's what it's supposed to look like up in the corner. See how it's uh, you know a vibrant colour and it's got the the green dot in the middle. Um, I didn't do anything different. Genuinely, I've done absolutely nothing different. I've just filmed the extra footage bit. Um, and then I went upstairs, got changed, came back down, thought, ah, give it one more go before nipping out to the shops. Um, and it was on the third go, it just randomly went ping, connected. Um, not done anything else, I've not turned Bluetooth on and off again, I've not rebooted the phone, didn't restart the app, force close it, clear cache, anything like that. Not done any of that since recording that, um, that bonus bit of the video uh, at the end so this is now the bonus bonus bit of course I'm gonna have to re-render the whole thing again oh well um, but yeah tried it once no just timed out said unable to connect tried it again said unable to connect thought try it one more time three times a charm <laughs> three million times a charm and it just went ping connected nothing I'm in the same house I'm, I'm in the house, I'm downstairs still, you can see the red walls, I'm in the same same room, the living room. Um, no G GPS thing, as far as I'm aware it's not done an update on the Play Store, I think uh, they only, I've set that so they do them overnight, um, I, I think, I can't remember, but yeah, how random, oh well. Off to the shops and hopefully do a raid or something. <laughs> it's still going back. It's the stress. Killing me, man. Killing me. But anyway. Yes, I'll give you some attention in a minute, me out. See you soon. Happy New Year. Cheers.